Oh, I have been losing a lot of hair lately. Why? Well, there is a whole science behind it. So in today's episode, let us turn our heads towards this balding issue. Why do some people go bald? Zoom in. Hair. Some like to keep them short, some like to keep them long, some like to artificially color them, and some like to rock the natural salt and pepper look. Those with a full head are assumed to have nearly 100,000 to 150,000 hair on their scalp, which not only makes you feel better, but also helps to keep your head warm and cushion your skull a bit in case you bump your head into something. So far, what we know about these 10 strands is that they are mostly made of keratin, a type of protein left over from dead cells that are pushed upwards as new cells grow under them. This process takes place in a tube-like tiny hole called hair follicles where the hair goes through an endless growth and shed cycle that has three main phases. And what are they? The first phase is called the anagen or growth phase. It is the active phase in which the hair follicle takes on its onion-like shape and works to produce the hair fiber and push up hair at the rate of one centimeter per month and depending upon your genes after two to seven years your skin sends signals to follicles to enter the next phase called catagen or transition phase during this phase the hair follicles begin to shrink and lose about one sixth of their standard diameter this phase runs for a few weeks and cuts the blood supply to the follicle, resulting in club hair, which is ready to be shed before entering the final phase called telogen or the resting stage. During 10 to 12 weeks of the telogen phase, around 10 to 15 percent of hair follicles become inactive and shed around 100 to 200 club hair per day. Once the old hair are shed, the entire growth cycle starts again. But unfortunately, not for everyone, especially men who get stuck at the telogen phase of shedding hair, causing baldness, also known as alopecia. But the vital question is, why doesn't the new hair grow? Well, scientists are still trying to figure out the exact reasons. But one of the major factors behind hair loss is the presence of a hormone in our bodies called testosterone, which is converted into dihydrotestosterone or DHT. Now, as some people's hair follicles are quite sensitive toward DHT, they begin to shrink as the hair gets thinner and over time shed away, never to grow back again. Though balding seems to affect mostly men in their 30s, even some women and children can suffer from alopecia. And in case your hair seems to fall a lot lately, then please speak to your parents or guardians and make an appointment with a dermatologist ASAP. At the same time, make sure to apply doctor-recommended hair oil or shampoo and do not forget to wash your hair regularly. Why? To know that, please watch our video What If You Stop Washing Your Hair? Trivia Time! Did you know, by 50 years of age, about 85% of men are balding? Also, heredity is the most common cause of hair loss. It is known medically as androgenetic alopecia. 
Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind.